Oh. Morning. It's Saturday. It's raining. It's dripping off everything. Including me and the bike. Enduro gravel trousers. Uh, which are keeping me nice and dry. Got some waterproof overshoes on. So the first time I've ridden an e-bike out in the rain. I'm just hoping it's going to stand up to the wet Welsh weather. Put this new frame bag on there as well. Put another bottle cage. Obviously got my kettle bag there. It was on the other day. But I've also put the um, little handlebar bag in there. Just because I'm carrying a few things. Uh, don't want it all squashed into the, the bag at the back. Right, let's crack on. Yeah, there's lovely meadows over there. Just got to stop and appreciate the view. Uh, carry on down here. Get onto some proper gravel. Um, it is heavily raining, so it's going to be interesting. I've got the bike switched on in eco mode. So, uh, give myself a little bit of assistance from the Marl motor, which is on the back there, which is incorporated into this Lapier E Cross Hill. Yeah, it's come to a really gravelly, chunky gravelly section. I'm going to take a steady over here. A close proximity gravel track, this to the M4. But it's nice and straight and just keeps you motoring up the Taft Trail. Still not used to this one hand riding though. Bye! There's a huge oak tree, fur on the side of it. Massive. I'm going to take the tarmac road up to the gravel. So I'm going to put it into the turbo assistance. There we go, and away we go. Oh, that's so much faster. The Shimano GRX shifters work absolutely amazingly. And the derailleur, it's got a clutch on it as well. Keeps the chain retained. This is actually Quite fun. Even though it's chucking down my rain. Oh, I know that's where my heartbeat will have increased on that climb then. So we're just entering Forest Flower. We'll go up into the car park and then down onto the gravel. So just uh, keeping it in turbo mode for this little climb and then I'll drop it back into Eco. Here's Merlin, sculpture off. Looks very lifelike. He's holding his staff. Wearing his pointed hat and a cloak. Stop raining for over an hour. And there's no streams where there were paths yesterday. See the clouds coming down. It really is a very dank day. But tomorrow it's cloudy. I could have come out tomorrow, but I thought I'd just bash out this ride today and then like, no. uh tomorrow doing my uh, exciting chores uh, I'll enjoy this gravel anyway see how much of this footage can be rescued anyway from this ride 
I mean, I'm, I was thinking of a title, you know, how does a e-bike, or e-gravel bike, should I say, cope in heavy rain? And I'm just, I kind of crossing my fingers on that. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure they've tested it in heavy rain. But being a newbie to the whole e side of things, and there's a part of me which is like, you know, electrics and water don't mix. <laughs> I definitely haven't got the skills for riding in heavy rain in the drops down a very funky gravel track. Locking quite a lot of that elevation as well. It's quite steep. And here it gets very bumpy. Alright. Oh, let's go to the side of that. And here I'm gonna take it really steady. When I did get into the drops a few times when I picked up the bike and I kind of rode it like I would the Maruda Silex. A bit of bravado. Someone might say stupidity on a new bike that weighs four kilograms heavier than the last one. Uh, I'm not stretched out too far, but I just like to have my hands a bit higher when I'm in the drop. Yeah, and also, when you're riding on the hoods down the descent like that, it does, you do get pressure here. Just as I can. Pretty low there. So we're at the old Taft Trail now. After coming down the Taft Trail from above Cassette Court, you know, heading up towards Taft Well. I'm going to carry on up the Taft Trail. I'm going to give the railway bridge a little miss. So I did that the other day. And I'm going to put this bike into eco mode. And we'll just have a ride up the top trail on the flat. down to 75% of the battery now and the range was 62 miles fully charged according to my app I definitely don't think this loop is any bigger than maybe 15 miles and it depends how much I've used that turbo button, a level three as they call it. Alright, here we go, we're coming out on the Taft Trail and stop here. I'm gonna go left, back towards Cardiff. Can't believe it's still raining. It is crazy. tarmac now into the cycle lane <laughs> oh dear it is horrible
is showing that it's at 50% now. Sort of off mode, but connected. Uh, well, I got the phone connected up. So uh, this is the app. 46% uh, battery, which would give me 15 miles. And I just did a 15 mile ride. It took me one hour 50, average speed 8.3 miles per hour. That's interesting, that. So, but anyway, for now, that'll do me. So it's all there. Right, so it's all up on Strava now. So yeah, thanks for joining. Hope you enjoyed this one. See you on the next one. Options on the app. It does record your maps. Just saving that activity. Uh, difficulty, I'll leave it at medium. High quality road, no. I would say poor quality road. And then I'll just write in there, gravel. So that is now saved. Uh, activity sync, processing activities, just come up on the screen. But you can see the levels, uh, level one, which is eco, I did five miles. Uh, level two, I did four miles. Level three, I did seven miles. <laughs> it's, it's so, I'm so, I'm so, still got to get the shoes off. Um, I'm glad I wore the overshoes. Uh, to my feet are dry. I've got walkthrough socks on as well. And these GRX Enduro trousers have been amazing. Unfortunately, the Madison uh, waterproof jacket, not quite so good. A learning experience, but at least I got out for a ride. Still chucking it down out there. I wouldn't have gone out on the mountain bike today. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Stick around for the next one. Give us a like, give us a comment. See you soon.